All right, YouTubers, how's everybody today? Today I am making enchiladas, guys. And this is what you're gonna need. I hope everyone is fine today. Mommy Ray Ray is making enchiladas. Today I have cumin, garlic and pepper seasoning, chopped green chilies, black pepper, a little sea sauce. Um, I have my sour cream and my red enchiladas and my flour corn tortillas. Guys, you can make a lot of this from scratch, but to make it faster for me today, these are my ingredients. And I already have on like three pounds of the ground beef already cooking in the skillet. So guys, I'm gonna take you on my journey on how to make enchiladas. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I already put in some hamburger meat, but I'm gonna add more of my ground beef and I'll show you what I did. I got a little bit of garlic and pepper. Very little, guys. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And I'm gonna put a little bit of cumin in there, guys. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to roll this all around in the skillet just to get the love. You can cut up your onions, garlic powder, guys, whatever the taste is that you like on your Mexican food, you can put it in there. I'm doing this, and I'm going to add my chilies to this and cook them in. People think that the chilies are hot, but they're not, guys. They just give it a good taste. So I'm going in with the whole can. And I'm going to cook that into this ground beef. It smells amazing. Okay? So guys, I'm gonna cook that in and I'll be right back. All right, all right guys, I'm back. And I'm taking that same skillet and I'm putting that sauce. I've never used this before, guys. It's not supposed to be too spicy, but I'm gonna go in with that. And what I wanna do is I like to heat mine up and put a little cumin in there. So I'm going in with just a little bit of ground cumin, just a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna let that cook in, guys. Okay, just gonna let that cook in and let it simmer. About six to 10 minutes on this, just cooking in there. And it may not take as long, but you want it to be where it cooks at least a end. And the only reason I added that is because I've never used this brand before. They didn't have my brand that I like. I will put down below how you can make this from scratch, guys. You don't have to use that there. You can make it yourself. It's really easy, but I did not feel like it today. So that's going to cook up about five minutes i'm going to let it stay heated up and then we're going to go in and do our flour enchiladas and i'll be right back guys all right guys i added my oil to the pan you can use olive oil vegetable oil canola oil the oil of your choice because you do want to oil your um enchiladas you do want them oiled. Some people will take them, put them in the oven in aluminum foil and put them all at one time. But I kind of like to fry mine on my own when I make it just, for, just because of experience. I like the way I do it. So all you're doing is you're gonna do this because you do not want them to break while you are making your enchiladas. So you kind of want them to kind of fluff up on you a little bit. You see that, guys? And then you're going to flip them over. So that's what you want. You want them to be able to flip over. I can't find my tongs. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go in and bring them over. See that? See that? That's the way you want your tortilla, your enchiladas to be. Just like that, guys. That's exactly how you want to come up. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to bring these babies off. 
and I'm going to repeat the steps until I cooked up all of this package here because I'm going to use all of mine. Just keep that just going just like that. You definitely want to cook them. You could use corn or you could use flour. You can put chicken instead of beef. This has a big piece of flour on there. I don't want all of that. All right, guys, see that? That tortilla had a lot of flour, but it's still usable. Don't throw it out. It's just flour. Turn them over. See that? Most people would have not used their hands. They would have used a uh, tongue to do it. I'm not afraid of them, guys. So you see how I did that, and I'm bringing them off. Okay. See that? Putting them on there. All right, guys. I'm going to get this ready to be assembled, and I'll be right back. Okay. All right, guys, I'm back. My sauce has simmered, and guess what? I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in and put some of this to the bottom, just like this. You just want some of it down there. Your um, enchilada sauce to the bottom. So I'm building. This is done Mommy Ray Ray's way, guys. This is it. Um, you may see, I have friends, everybody may tweak their own way. So after that, you want to go in with some hamburger and just put a little bit down. That's your ground beef. Just want to put it in there like that. See that, guys? I'm going in. All right. Now I am about to start building, guys. And when you build, what you want to do is you want to get your cheese and you're going to put your cheese with your hamburger meat. This is a great meal. It's not hard to do. See how? Watch this. I kind of want mine meaty, so I'm going to put a lot of meat in there, guys. And then I'm going to go in with my cheese. See that? And then we're going to roll them up and put it in. It's just that easy. You got it? Watch me again, guys. I'm going to go in with some meat. And like I said, I like it meaty. And when I go in, guys, what do I go in? I go hard. Okay? Just like this. Very easy to do. Fold it over and in. See that? I'm going to go in with you with another one, guys. Watch me. I'm going in and I'm going hard. Haha. <laughs> See that? And then I want to put some more cheese on here. I'm going to let you guys just go through this with me. And then I want to fold it over. Down and out like that. So easy to make enchiladas. Something different and easy. You have to just remember the steps because it's important that you do fry up your enchiladas. See that? You could put onions in here, guys. You could cut up green peppers. You can tweak this the way you want it. But this is how I like mine. See that? Beautiful. I'm going in again. And I'm going back into my cheese. this up and then I'm going to go in. See that guys? 
in. That chilies is in there. I see a little chili sticking up in that one. And I'm going to go in. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to be right back, guys, because I want to try and switch this over. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I just wanted to stuff those other two in on the side. And I have hamburger left, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put it in between each line, which is hamburger. The leftover hamburger, you want to go in between each one of your enchiladas. Each one. See that? This is a great meal. Not hard to do. And I'm sure you guys, family, will love it. All right. See that? I know my son is going to love this, guys. Go in with it. Okay, not going to leave anything. All right, guys. Now I took my sauce and I put them in my little glasses. So I'm over a half a cup. I'm sorry, guys. A little anchor glass. And I'm going to go in. See that? How beautiful is that, guys? All right, let me put the rest of my sauce in. See that, guys? I'm going in with my sauce. Okay. Look how beautiful that is. I'm going to keep it down because we got to bake this, guys. Now I'm going in with my cheese. Here we go, guys. I got my Kobe Jack cheese. And I'm going in, guys. Check it out. Enchiladas, Mommy Ray Ray's way. I want to try to use my whole bag. I don't want to overflow it. Got my oven baking on 350. I mean, preheated for 350, guys. Put your oven on. Enchiladas, guys. Look at here. Beautiful. You know what, guys? I'm going to put a little bit of that sharp on the top also. If you're looking at my video, guys, I hope you guys will subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and even a comment, guys. And tell a friend about me today. That will be great. Hey, family, YouTube family, tell a friend about Mommy Ray Ray today. Hold on, guys. I'm going to get some more cheese. We just live and then remember it here. How about that? I'm going to let this cook anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes, guys. I'm going to let it bake. Very easy to do. Enchiladas. Now we're going to put them in. All right, guys. I'm going to put this in the oven, put my rice on, and that's what dinner will be today. I'll be right back, guys, after this cook, 35 to 40 minutes. I'll be right, right back. All right, guys, I'm done. This is the finished product of my enchiladas today with red sauce and hamburger meat. My way of doing it, guys, it looks excellent. I am about to dive in. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, and I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe, guys, and even a comment a comment thank you so much guys for coming in with me with this recipe i want you guys to go in and i want you guys to go 
hard. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.